In this video, you will learn how to make a loading animation like this in Blender. Blender version 2.79 is being used while creating this video. Start with pressing number 7 on the number pad for the top view, and press 5 for orthographic view. Press A key once or twice until everything is selected, and press X and enter to delete. Add in a circle by pressing Shift plus A, Mesh and Circle. And here double the number of vertices with 64. Zoom this circle in by mouse wheel up. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Make sure that all the vertices of the circle are selected. Next press E key on the keyboard to extrude and scale them down by pressing S, 0.7 and enter. Press Tab to return to object mode. Press N key to open the properties panel. Make sure that the current frame number is set to 1. Move your mouse pointer to the rotation section and press I key to add a keyframe. Next come down here and set the current frame number to 125. And type minus 1800 in Z axis under rotation section. Again press I key to add another keyframe. That will make this circle rotate minus 1800 degrees within Z axis and 125 frames. Next set this end frame to 125, so that your animation will not be rendered after 125 frames. Now click on this current editor type icon and click on graph editor. Press A key once or twice until everything is selected. Now press T key for keyframe interpolation and click on linear. This will make the circle rotate on same speed during animation. Now come down here and change it to 3D view. Press N key to close the properties panel and press T to close the tools panel. Next click on this viewport shading option and click on rendered. Now split the screen dragging this top left corner like this so that we can work on two different environment. Next click on this editor type and click node editor. Press N key to close the right panel. Now come over here and change this from blender render to cycles render. Now click on this new button to add a new material. Move this material output node to the right and delete this diffuse shader pressing X key. Next add in mix shader by pressing shift plus A shader and mixed shader. Move it nearby the material output. Add color ramp by pressing shift plus A, converter and color ramp and place it here like this. Add emission shader by pressing shift plus A, shader and emission. Next add a transparent shader by pressing shift plus A, shader and transparent BSDF. Next add gradient texture by pressing shift plus A, texture and gradient texture and finally add texture coordinates by pressing shift plus a input and texture coordinates now connect object of texture coordinates to vector of gradient texture change the gradient type to radial next connect color of gradient texture to fac of color ramp next connect color of color ramp to fac of mix shader now connect the emission shader to the top shader and the transparent shader to the bottom shader of mix shader. Finally connect mix shader to the material output surface. Now you can change the emission color to set the icon color. And move this marker around to set the transparency length of the loading icon. Now go to this top right corner of this small screen and drag and drop to the large screen. Expand this right side panel to unhide some of the features. Click on this world button. Next click on this color. Now you can choose your suitable color as the background color of the animation. I am going to set completely white color in this case. Now come down here and change this viewport shading to material. Now add some text by pressing shift plus a, text. Press tab to enter text editing mode and type your loading text. Press tab to exit editing mode.
press T to open up the tools self. And change the origin point of the text to the geometry. Now press Shift plus S keys and click on cursor to center to make sure that the cursor is not out of the center. Select the text right clicking on it if it is not. Again press Shift plus A keys and click on selection to cursor to move the text to the cursor. Scale the text down by pressing S, 0.5 and enter. Now move this text little bit down by dragging this green arrow. To set the material for this text, click on this material icon. Click on new, and change the surface type to emission. Now click on this color and set a suitable color for your text. I am choosing completely red in this case. Next make sure that the cursor is still in the center. And add a camera by pressing shift plus A and clicking on camera. Press N key to open up the properties panel. Remember that all the location and rotation values of camera must be zero. If it is not already, change those values to zero first. Then click on this lock icon to lock the transform. Lock the X and Y axis of location and lock all the axis of rotation. Now press 0 on the number pad to switch camera view. Zoom it little bit by mouse wheel up. Next click this lock camera to view checkbox. Now rotate your mouse wheel down until you are happy with the position of loading icon. Now click on this camera icon to open render settings. I'm going to set 1280 by 720 resolution with 100% pixel scaling. Then I am going to set 30 FPS in frame rate. You can click on this little folder icon to define the directory where you want to save the animation. Click on this button to set the video format, I am going to set FFMPEG video format in this case. Now open the sampling section. I am going to set render samples values to 150. More samples gives you better result but takes longer time to render. Now go to the top and click on animation. Rendering process has been started. I am going to skip this video until rendering is done. And this was a short tutorial about how to create a loading animation in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.